welcome back to my vlog and in today's video as you can observe wala kong suot na makeup it's because today's video i'm gonna be showing to you my five minute makeup routine sure five minutes actually minsan siguro nagiging eight minutes but in general, mabilis ko lang talagang gawin yung daily makeup routine. So yes, let's start. So the first step, the first step actually ng makeup routine ko, always the first step because nag naghihilamos ako. Because um, hindi ako nagi, I mean nababasa yung mukha ko, but hindi ako naghihilamos sa shower. Kasi nga hot shower, after naghihilamos of course dry. And then follows yung parang skincare ko, mini skincare sa morning. So, yung skincare ko sa morning to start with is I'm just using this hydrolonic acid from Hell Pore Control. So, um, it's ano siya guys, I think like yung goal niya is ma-reduce yung ano, ma-reduce yung pores mo. So, yeah, so ito yung ginagamit ko. Um, ano lang siya, dalawang pump. So, ma-reduce yung pore. Pero ano din siya, like, yung general goal talaga niya is para ma-moisturize kasi ma-moisturize yung mukha mo. So, next part is, after yan, so, ipasattle down lang natin yan. After yan is, of course, you should not forget, sunblock. So, this one is, uh, just mura lang to. It's a Nivea Sunblock 50 SPF. So, especially dito sa Australia na, wala lang, naririnig-rinig ko lang na, yun nga, um, manipis daw yung ozone layer dito. Hindi ko sure ha kung totoo yan, pero, pero, totoo man yan or hindi. Sunblock is, ano naman din talaga, sunblock is very important. Para siyang, I think, parang importante siya, especially for like anti-aging. So yeah, ulit. So yung sobra-sobra sa neck and sa kamay. And then, next part is lip balm. So well, well, nagbi-makeup ako, pero at least mas sit ng ano. Hindi masyadong dry yung lips ko. So that's the lip balm. And then after that one, so nakapag sunblock na ako, then follows foundation. So for that foundation, I'm using Estee Lauder Double Wear Makeup in the shade 2 and 2 buffed. So, I'm not sure if like nababaligtad to guys, but just in case. So I'm using this one, but since mas umitim kasi ako, so nung binili ko to, I think um, almost a year ago na. Nung binili ko to, medyo puti-puti pa ako. Eh, medyo nag-umitim ako ngayon. So, yung kinagawa ko is parang additional SPF na din sa mukha ko. Tapos, darker shade is minimix ko siya with the Misha uh, Perfect Cover BB Cream with SPF 42. So, diba? May 50 na ako, may 42 pa. So, intense coverage talaga yung nangyayari sa atin. So, ito siya. This is in the shade number 27. So, ang um, Estee Lauder, ginagamit ko siya, it's because siya yung napili ko. Kasi mang naghahanap pa ko ng foundation, nagtanong, kasi yung foundation ko talaga originally is yung Etude na foundation. Eh, naubusan ako. And at that time, no, hindi ko pa na-realize na pwede pala kami mag-order online. And hindi din siya ganun kamahalan pala pag in-order online. So, Nung time na yun, hindi ko pa alam. So, pumunta kami ng Sephora. Tapos, nagtanong ako, ano yung foundation na fit for like oily skin? Eh, oily yung skin ko, ba So, parang na-recommend niya ito. Sabi ko, tapos, um, foundation na good for oily skin na medium coverage lang. So, ito yung one of the recommended nila. But yung pinaka-first na recommend talaga nila is Fenty. Which is more or less the same, the same lang yung presyo. Kaso lang, nung nasa Pilipinas pa lang ako, gustong gusto ko yung foundation na to. Pero hindi ko siya mabili-bili kasi mahal. So parang sabi ko, di, ito muna first ko binhin. But maybe once maubos to, or maybe if um, my spare, my extra, maybe I'll try to get the Fenty one also. Kasi sabi nila yun talaga yung extra na oil control na foundation. Sabi nung ano ha, sabi nung sales lady ng ano nung Sephora. So, nakita nyo guys, so, parang nilagay ko first yung ano, yung Estee Lauder. Afterwards, naglagay lang ako konti ng Misha kasi nga para ma-dark naman konti. So, ano siya, kailan ba? 
Nagsimula akong magsuot ng makeup ay same fourth year college. Nag ano siya, ang first na nag nag uh, tumulong or nagturo sa akin is yung isa sa mga kabarkada ko nung college, si Dulot. Parang ano siya, college pa lang kami guys. Luxus, ano yan, way back 2014. On flick na yung kilay na college pa lang kami. On flick na yung kilay na yan. Yeah, yeah. Like, siya yung original on flick na kilay na kilala ko. So, so nagsimula siya. Naglalagay ako ng foundation. Pero, of course, hindi nagtatry ako maglagay ng kilay. Tapos, pagdating ko sa, pagdating ko sa ano, pagdating ko sa school, pagdating ko sa, sa school namin, sa school namin, ini-erase niya. Kasi ano pa lang, hindi tama. Pero tinuturuan niya ako. So, sa kanya ako natuto na ano, sa kanya ako natuto na mag, magkilay. At the same time, yung recommended product, kaya ako na in love sa etude. Kasi nung college pa lang ako, yun yung recommended product ni Dulot. Which is, yun na yung ginagamit ko. Even until now, yun na yung pangkilay na ginagamit ko. So, yan. Tapos na tayo sa foundation. Alam niyo na nanonotice niyo na maitim dito kasi na... So, I know na yung ano, common practice talaga is maglagay ng concealer. Ako, like, kung daily makeup lang, hindi na ako naglalagay. Pero pag, ano, pag may mga events, nagko-concealer lang din talaga ako. Tapos parang, na, ano, nag-highlighter para naman ma-differentiate sa daily makeup ko din ko. So, I think that's it. So, that's for the foundation. I always do my kilay afterwards. So, di ba? Malapit na tayong matapos. Actually, <laughs> Malapit na tayong matapos. Then I do my eyebrow. So, yung eyebrow pencil na ginagamit ko, again, as I said, ito yung ginagamit ko since 4th year college ako. This is the Etude House. Etude House Drawing Eye Pencil. And this is in the shade brown. Yeah, brown. This is in the shade brown. Dito sa ano, dito sa Adelaide, walang nagbebenta nito. Online ko lang to pinipili palagi. Pero I know sa uh, Sydney and Melbourne, merong mga physical stores. Pero ako online lang, QG. Sa QG lang ako nag-order. With the kilay, without the kilay. The difference. Yes, so I'm done with my kilay. So with the kilay, guys, just say ano lang, just say chica. So before, yung kilay ko before talaga is ano siya, naka-arco siya, insert photos here. So naka-arco talaga siya yung kilay ko. And then nag-experiment lang ko, sabi ko, i-try ko nga yung parang straight lang. Kasi parang yun yung parang Korean, di ba? Which is yun yung gusto kong makeup talaga na style. And after I'm done with my kilay, so di ba yung iba is nagko-concealer. Me for my daily makeup routine, I choose not to. Minsan pag may mga events akong pinupuntahan, then kinoconcealer ko din siya just to highlight and para mas on fleek. Pero, pag normal everyday lang din naman, hindi na ako, hindi na, hindi ko na ginagawa yun. And then, the next step, putting on a little bit of contour, just on the sides of my face. So, um, again, I'll show you the palette. So, this is for the contour. This is for the blush on. This is lighter pink. And this is a darker pink with glitters. And then, ito yung highlighter. And then, just different shades of eyeshadows. So, I'm gonna be first putting on a little bit of contour. Konte lang, hindi over-over. Hindi naman ako makontour perfect. Actually, yung sides lang ng face ko. I think, pinsan, ginagawa ko lang siya para hindi masyadong, you know, hindi masyadong maputi yung... <laughs> maputi yung mukha ko. Kasi... Pero guys, kasi din naman, nag-oxidize din naman yung makeup. So, maputi siya ngayon. Pero, dahil later on, magiging a bit darker na yan. So, hindi din siya ganun kapote. So, I just put a, I'll just put a contour a bit. Hindi ko nga alam kung may, I think lang, pakiramdam ko lang talaga yung naman over-over kapote. So, I'm also using this brush from Tarte also. So, set din siya na nabili ko, mermaid brush. Okay. So, I'm done. I don't know if my difference, but I always still do it as part of my routine. Like, naman, katagalan. And then, for the blush, guys, I usually, so, ito, diba, as I said, it's lighter pink. 
And then this one is darker pink na may glitter. But yung lighter pink, sobrang light niya na parang wala siyang difference. What I usually do is I just combine the lighter pink and the darker pink and just put it here. So, before, I think pababa, pa ganito yung paglagay ko ng blush. And, pero may nakita kong video na parang sabi niya na parang pag gusto mo daw na parang ma-elongate yung face mo, then pa ganito siya, this way mo siya ilalagay yung blush on. May mag-blush on ako, parang mula. Actually, meron na guys. Di lang siya klaro sa camera. Yep, let's move on to the other side. Over, over na nga eh. Over, over na nga yung blush on. So, yes. And then, after that one is... Actually, tapos na. Lipstick na lang. So, remember, naglagay na ako ng lip balm. So, um, maglagay na lang ako ng lipstick. So, this is the MAC in the shade um, 2. Yeah, so hindi na ako nag-lip liner this kasi wala no. So, I think that's it. That's my 5 minute. I know this video is not 5 minute kasi na chika ko. Pero more or less, pag like in the, sa umaga, like pag ginagawa ko siya, more or less 5 minutes. Basta mabilis lang talaga ako natatapos sa makeup ko. So that's it for the, my 5 minute or quick daily makeup routine. I hope you all guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions with any of the products that I'm using, if like okay ba sila, kung nag-hesitate kayo na bumili ng exactly the same product na na ginagamit ko, just comment down below so that I can reply to you. And yes, if you have any video suggestions, video, if you have any video suggestions, just let me know. And yep, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much, guys.